Commissioner Emma I. Darnell, welcome to Mighty Five Conversations. Conversations is a monthly information and communication program focusing on the sustainable community. Economically strong, environmentally safe, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us. I will be back in a moment. What do I do on October 1st? A close look at the Affordable Care Act and what it means to you uh, and to me. Uh, joining me in the conversation today uh, is Sarah Hilton, who is the Division Manager of the Office of Aging in the Department of Human Services. Welcome, Ms. Hilton. It's great to be here. we glad to have you back and to help us uh, disseminate very important information about October 1st and the Affordable Care Act. Just tell us first what that October 1st is all about. Well, October 1st is a big day. Uh, in 2010, uh, President Barack Obama signed into law the Affordable Care Act, and uh, the new benefits will be uh, happening this year in terms of the new health insurance marketplace. So on October 1st, uh, 2013, individuals will have the opportunity to sign up for health care. And uh, this is a great benefit to all. The Affordable Health Care Act looks to increase the quality and affordability uh, for individuals. It also helps to reduce the number of uninsured individuals and lower costs for both the individual and the government. So October 1st will be a day where people who once did not have insurance can sign up for afford affordable and quality care. Well before we end this program we're going to give information uh, to the audience in terms of where they can go to get up real good comprehensive uh, sources of information about this program but we want to hit on some of the major questions that you and I have received uh, as we approach this October 1st date. I'm going to begin with the the Medicare question. What do I do on October 1st when I have Medicare? If you currently are receiving Medicare, you don't have to do absolutely anything. Your Medicare benefits remain intact, and what happens for individuals who do have Medicare, there's going to be some new benefits provided to you, uh, which include uh, cheaper prescription uh, medications. That That's will, a big one. Right. And also, we've uh, not only will they be cheaper, but also you will receive discounts. Uh, people have been talking about the Medicare Part D yes. donut hole. Yes. And what... Uh, Prior to the affordable health care being implemented, individuals would receive 75% discount um, for prescription drug medications uh, for in the amount of $2,800. So you would get discounts if, you were, um, if your prescription drug medication was under $2,800 or over $6,000. So there was a coverage gap. Now with the Affordable Health Care Act, in 2013, people are beginning to realize and see those discounts which include currently 52% of a discount on brand name drugs and 21% discount on generic drugs. So we're already receiving that benefit. That, That's, that wasn't just postponed to October 1st. Right. All right, October 1st is the date when folks who don't have insurance can enroll. That's correct. All right, let's talk about some other kinds of questions. If I have Medicare, then of course I don't need to enroll uh, in insurance on October 1st. I suppose my grandson, though, uh, was laid off, and when he was laid off, he lost his insurance, and he hadn't been able to get a job. He goes out every morning looking, mm -hmm. but he's unemployed, and he's lost his insurance, and right now, uh, he, he pretty much goes to, to Grady for emergency for, for, for his health care. Uh, what does he do? on October 1st. 
Well, the first thing I would ask is, how old is your grandson? And for individuals up until the age of 26, they could still be covered under their parents' uh, insurance. For individuals, for children uh, or young adults who are 18 and under, within the state of Georgia, we have peach care for kids. So those are the two options that would be available. However, if your grandson is over the age of 26, he will now have the opportunity on October 1st to find health care coverage. And if for individuals who are unemployed, there are uh, no cost to low cost uh, health care plans, and depending on uh, your uh, ability to pay copays or not, there will be an option that's best suited for that individual need. So, if my grandson is under the age of 26, he does nothing on October 1st because he's covered by his parents. That's correct. If his parents are covered. That's right. <laughs> but if his parents are covered, then of course he's covered. But if he is over 26, and unemployed, uh, he has to enroll on October 1st. What does that mean? What will he actually do on October 1st? So on October 1st, you will be en uh, able to enter the health insurance marketplace online. What does that mean? That is like a virtual shopping mall. So you would go online and uh, go to healthcare.gov, and that's where Georgia's health uh, insurance marketplace will be hosted. We're going to put that on the screen, too. Uh, uh, as we go through. Right. right. And if the exchange the, address. Yes. Okay. And if you do not have access to a computer, you can call 1 800 318. 2596 and enroll that way. So there are options in terms of uh, applying online, applying by telephone, or in person. What do you see if you go online or if you call? What is it that you'll be actually doing? Will you be selecting an insurer? You will be filling out one application and then you will be able to determine uh, what insurance company mm -hmm. you would like to go on based on the cost you're able to afford and the quality of the benefits that you would like to receive as well as the co-payments that you're able to afford. So you'll be able to review all of the uh, plans that we have here in Georgia and select the one that best suits your needs. All right. So that health exchange is really a process where you make a selection in terms of the insurance company that will provide insurance for you. Yes, that's Is right. there any information that we can get about the insurance companies before we actually enroll? Yes, and health... Where can we get some information? You can uh, either uh, go on to healthcare.gov or call the 1-800 number and uh, look at the insurers and the types of benefits that they have and what they're going to be offering come October 1st. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can do that right now. That's correct. Yes. And some other things that you could prepare for October 1st is looking at your own personal budget in terms of what you're going to be able to afford and then also reviewing the savings that you'd be eligible for. You can do that currently right now. Also, you can ask your employer if they're currently not providing insurance to you if come January 1st, 2014, they will be offering that as a benefit for their employees. And then finally, you can look at um, uh, uh, potential savings or if you're uh, eligible for Medicaid come uh, it, with regards to um, your current situation and if you have limited incomes or resources. So on that insurance market you can do all of that. You can look at the insurance companies, you can see if, if you're eligible for Medicaid and you can determine what will best suit you come January 1st because come January 1st by law everyone is required to have health insurance. So this is not exactly a discretionary then, is it? No, you do not yes. have a choice. You've got to get an insurance company from somewhere before January 1st. That's correct. Uh, one other question I wanted to ask that we've been getting, and that is, suppose that I'm working and my employer provides uh, insurance. Of course, I, I contribute a portion and my employer. Suppose I have insurance where I work. What do I do on October 1st? On October 1st, you would not be required, required to do anything, but you could actually go on the health insurance marketplace to see what you're paying um, at your uh, job and what's being offered through the health insurance marketplace. And if you find a less expensive pl plan, you do have the ability to transfer over to uh, your own personal plan and opt out of your employer-sponsored plan. So it's really an option for even persons who are working and have insurance uh, where they work. Uh, nevertheless, they still can evaluate their insurance situation now. And if they find that they have a better deal, 
Uh, then, of course, on October 1st, they go to the exchange also. Yes, that's correct. All right. You mentioned something about peach care. Um, of course, peach care is uh, restricted uh, for um, children. And uh, what are the requirements for eligibility for for peach care? For peach care, uh, in terms of the eligibility, there's poverty guidelines that you have to adhere to as a family. And I don't want to quote what those are, but you can go online to find out what yes, the Yes, that's the main thing. Tell them where they can find that information. Right. Uh, you can go on to uh, the Compass website, compass.gov, to find more information about peach care, uh, as well as you can call one eight seven seven insure kids now for more information with regards to the peach care that's avail available in Georgia. What are some of the resources that we have available uh, in the Department of Aging uh, to, to give more information because we're having one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions uh, with uh, our participants and clients. We're going to talk about that when we come back. Okay. We're going to take a little break right now. All right, thank, thank you. you. It appears that we need to give some numbers here where folks can get more information about what's going to happen on October 1st. But a couple of things I believe you've made pretty clear, Ms. Hilton, and that is that with respect to senior adults who have Medicaid and Medicare, not much to do on October 1st. Is that right? That's correct. If you don't have Medi if you already are on Medicare or receiving Medicaid benefits, you don't have anything to do on October 1st. Your benefits remain in place and uh, there's no additional action other than you'll see new benefits as preventative care, decreased cost for prescription medication, um, and additional yearly wellness visits and things like that. So you'll be receiving the benefits come January 1st, 2014. Well, it seems as if the Medicare and the Medicaid uh, client already has already received benefits yes. uh, from affordable health care. Uh, but now that grandson who is over the age of 27, uh, he needs to get some information about that exchange. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And he can find that uh, information by either going on healthcare.gov or by calling 1-800-318-2596 or you can go on the Fulton County website, fultoncountyga.gov. All right, the information that you just gave us was very valuable, Ms. Hilton, and we're going to have that on the screen. But you know our clients are going to check with their centers first. And I want you to give us information in terms of how they can receive even more information from the Department of Aging. Sure. And the Office of Aging has a number of resources to provide seniors. And you can either go to your one of the four multipurpose facilities or your neighborhood senior centers to receive information. Or if you would like, you can contact our star line at 404-613-6000 and you could speak to somebody personally in terms of any questions that you have uh, with the Affordable Care Act, where to find information, the webinars that we'll be uh, hosting, and also we will be providing enrollment for Medicaid Part D come October. All right. Uh, do you have the dates for that enrollment for Medicare Part D? Uh, at each individual center, they will be different, but we will provide that information if you contact our star line. All right. Now, the star line number, give us that number again. Sure. It is 404-613-6000. And, uh, Ms. Hilton, I would like to get your um, comments and observations with respect to the priorities uh, which our senior adults uh, at, our, at our centers have given uh, to this whole matter of having insurance and having information about insurance. Um, when we talk with them, um, what is your impression of what priorities they give to this kind of information? Mm -hmm. they, it's a very high priority, and especially when you're thinking about prescription medications and receiving yes. discounts. What we find is that when costs are covered, 
seniors are more likely to purchase essential medications and which leads to increased and better health outcomes as well as financial security. So seniors do need this information. So if uh, you know it and you're hearing this today, I would encourage you to share this information with your friends and family because there are vital and important benefits available for you right now. Uh, so this information is very important. Call our star line, go to one of our centers because there's lots of benefits out there for you currently, which include discounts, even with the Affordable Health Care Act, uh, you will be saving money on Medicare expenses and that is roughly $4,200 um, with the implementation of the Affordable Health Care Act and just right now the average savings is $635 on prescription medications which will climb all the way up to $15,000 come 2020. Individual savings will be $15,000 on prescription medications so we don't want people to uh, miss out on the benefits whether you're your senior and you need prescription dr drugs or a child who is now eligible for dental insurance with the Affordable Health Care Act, please make sure this information um, is shared with others and take advantage of these, these wonderful benefits that we now have. Uh, thank you very much for that, Ms. Hilton. And also, um, uh, your department has pointed out to us that in a comprehensive survey that you did uh, called State of Fulton Seniors, that we had 10% of the number who were interviewed who indicated that they do make choices between food and medicine. And I think that all of us were somewhat surprised that it would have been that percent mm -hmm. of folks. And so the discount on prescription medicine, as you pointed out, being able to buy the medicine that you need uh, it's going to have a real impact on that situation, won't it? It will. And by 2020, that coverage gap will be closed completely. So right now we are at 52% and 21% discount. However, as uh, each year passes, we'll be closing that uh, coverage gap on uh, Medicare Part D. So we want to make sure that people know that discounts are available and we don't want to, um, we want to try to decrease people making the, uh, having to make the choice between whether I turn the lights on or do I uh, pay for my prescription medications? And now is your opportunity to get those discounts and get the essential medications that you need. Uh, could I take this information, Ms. Hilton, not only uh, for myself, but could I also take this information to my church or to my organization and so that maybe the seniors who do not come to our centers, uh, maybe the in-home, the homebound seniors, uh, they will have access to this information as well. Yes, and that's very important to get the word out there. And, and the Affordable Health Care Act, although it was, it's a large document, some people shy away from actually mm -hmm. understanding the benefits. But with the health uh, insurance marketplace, with the resources that are available online or through our star line or print material that we could send you, please uh, share that information. And we'll be doing a lot of outreach activities to help disseminate that information to the community because it's, uh, healthcare is very important to all of us. And we want to make sure people have the information so that they can be able to take advantage of these wonderful benefits. Well, we are certainly very, very pleased that our senior centers, once again, will be the location for the kind of information that seniors lead in order to live full and productive uh, and successful lives. Uh, we're going to meet our responsibilities to get the information out because as we've heard you speak today, it's really not complicated. You don't need a computer in order to be able to enroll in insurance on October 1st. There is a telephone number that you can call. There's written and printed information you can get now and determine based on your budget, I think I heard you say it, right. say, you know, what plan fits me best? Right. And uh, of course, we can refer folks to uh, these navigators and others who uh, can even assist right. in helping you make that assessment. Is that correct? That's correct. So once again, uh, the Senior Center and the multi-purpose facility uh, come into focus as being places not only for food and fellowship, but also places that joining with you and the community and the family, uh, we can work together to improve the quality of life for everybody. That's right. Well, we thank you so much. Uh, 
uh, for this, Ms. Hilton. I'm going to uh, ask you to review now, though, those key telephone numbers and addresses that we need to commit to um, um, uh, transmit. Sure. Uh, uh, to the public, uh, because uh, the station is going to put them on the screen. This is the information program today, and uh, we want to make sure that this valuable information that you gave us uh, uh, is transmitted. So if you would just review those key numbers, sure. begin with that health exchange number. Sure. Yes. The health exchange number is 1-800-318-2596, or you can go online to healthcare.gov for more information on an online format. You can also contact Fulton County Office of Aging if you need information and assistance at 404-613-6000. For Medicare-related questions, you can call 1-800-MEDICARE or go to medicare.gov. And if there's any questions that you have, if you're a senior or a caregiver, we would love to hear from you either at our star line or at one of our uh, multi-purpose or neighborhood senior centers. Thank you very much, Ms. Hilton. This information has been extremely useful and valuable, and certainly all of us, the members of the Board of Commissioners, will make sure that we transmit this information to our constituents. Thank you again. Thank you, Commissioner. For your assistance. We'll be back in a moment with closing thoughts. Fulton County's public health officials have reminded us that while behaviors such as diet and exercise are significant determinants of health status, access to quality health care should also be considered a major factor in determining how long we live and how well we live. What will you do on October 1st? to protect your health and the health of your family and your community. That's all the time we have for today's conversation. Until next time, stay strong. To learn more about today's conversation, contact me at 404-612-8222. That's 404-612-8222. You can also email me at emma.darnell at fultoncountyga.gov. Visit us online at emmadarnell.com or connect with us on Facebook or Twitter.